Hello, this is Wampire. Um, I want to apologize because I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, I've been out of town. Uh, my mom uh, was sick. She got pancreatitis and uh, she was in the hospital. So I went down there and I was uh, spending uh, several nights at the hospital taking care of her and uh, just came back yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and now I'm um, I'm sick from it from the just from the stress being out of town and and uh, yeah, it, it, it was rough. It was really rough. And if you don't know anything about pancreatitis, it is a very, very painful disease. So just seeing your mom in a lot of pain is, um, it, that's hard, you know, that's, that's really tough. But um, I was originally going to make this video and have several points, but then it sounded a little preachy. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. This is actually my second take. Uh, first of all, let me just a uh, quick introduction on my mom. My mom is, um, she's an aerobics instructor. Um, so she teaches aerobics every week, multiple times a week. And she's really into yoga and Pilates also. That's, that's her interest. And she really likes exercising. So she's, from that kind of point of view, she's pretty fit, especially for someone her age. And um, eating wise, she eats... I would say healthier than um, above, you know, pretty much above average, healthier than the average person. That doesn't say a whole lot, especially because I feel like the average is probably pretty bad, uh, especially when I went down there, walking around, I saw just the people there and boy, they, they look really out of shape. They look like they eat just whatever the heck they feel like, whatever tastes good, whatever is quick and available. So, I mean, I saw some really obese people and just people that look like they don't take care of themselves, you know? Um, I mean, I, I kind of like view the body almost like as a car. So you got to take care of it. You got to do oil change. You know, you, you, there's a lot of things to do. And, and uh, if you don't do it, it's, I think it's it definitely going to start to show. And if it doesn't show, you, on the inside, it's even worse, if, you know, than what you see on the outside. So someone may look okay from the outside but on the inside you don't know what's going on and in my mom's case even though she's you know above average in many ways um yeah the the inside which which is her pancreas basically took a toll um and i think it came from eating um and, and the way i'm imagining it is what it is is probably um it's kind of like if a person doesn't smoke like cigarettes and stuff and and they get a little whiff of someone that is smoking a cigarette like like me i don't smoke so if i even walk next to a person that smokes cigarettes it makes me sick instantly i'm i'm like oh gosh my throat i feel really disgusted and and uh feel the effects big time that person doesn't because they're used to it and that's what they do every day to them it's nothing and so I, for my mom, she lives a relatively healthy lifestyle and then she goes on a vacation or something something that's not normal for her then it hits her a lot harder than someone that's used to eating junk food bad food fatty food rich um luxurious kind of foods or, or whatever something like that it hits her a lot harder and i think same for myself um if if i do that it hits me like like if I go to McDonald's and eat something there tonight, I'm feeling it. Um, or immediately I may have diarrhea or something because I'm not used to it, you know? Uh, so does that mean you should get used to it? No, that's that's not what I'm saying. I don't think it's good to get used to fast food or, or uh, fatty foods, or luxurious foods. I don't think that's a good thing. But the, the people that are, if you are one of those people and you're used to it, Man, you, you don't know how much you're taking advantage of yourself. And sooner or later, I think you, it's going to come to you hard. For someone like me, I feel the effects immediately, but it's not that bad. Like like someone who smokes, who's not even smoking, but just walks into a store, I can smell it and my throat will start to get scratchy immediately. So my effects are immediate, but that's not that bad. But for someone who's been smoking a long time, when you do get sick from it, Man, you're coming down with something like cancer, lung cancer, or something really severe. So, you know, I, I just don't think it's worth it to eat unhealthy and to be smoking or drinking, um, you know, any, any kind of those things. It's in the long run, it, just go to a hospital. Go to a hospital and you see the people suffering in there and uh, 
so for me this was a good lesson uh, seeing my mom this way you know I, I kind of see myself in a similar position that I'm maybe ab above average when it comes to being healthy and fit and I see her and I'm like man this could easily happen to me and and you know what it kind of did uh, I made a video a little while back where I said I, I almost died well now I know I wasn't kidding um, I think what I had was also pancreatitis I was able to myself at the time but I was to the point where sure after reading about it and all that uh, I was, was gonna go back and my pancreas was gonna shut down you know I mean from there now we're talking about like some stuff can happen like death that's, that's pretty much what happened to me and I, I was or I couldn't do it myself but asking uh, for an emergency sense. but uh, yeah luckily I started throwing up um, and when I had thrown up it, it the I guess iris that was inside was able to come out a lot fast came out or, or whatever and and uh, I, I was I was all right not all right but I was a lot better afterwards my mom on the other hand by the time she was throwing up I think it was already her body and it was already absorbed into her so throwing up didn't really help her um, as much and uh, yeah because in the beginning that's what they told me that she threw up a lot um, and that's a common symptom is to throw up and have diarrhea like like all night um, so so anyway yeah that that was that was uh man it was just a crazy experience i thought i was gonna have an awesome halloween and this happened uh you know you never know what kind of i'm gonna cut it here thank you for uh for listening and take care folks